My main cause has been women. Probably domestic violence. Although at the beginning I was all over the place. I've been, I've done field work in India, in Africa, in Europe, in America, in South America, in Central America. I work uh, with uh, children that live under the, the street, the, the, in the sewers in Mexico. I work uh, with education. I work with AIDS. I work with prostitutes. Um, I work with Mother Teresa uh, as, a uh, as a volunteer. Um, and then I decided, if you want to st stop violence in the world, it should start in the home. You know, so, so um, domestic violence, I don't come from a background of domestic violence, but I think it's incredibly, incredibly important. And at the time, was really abandoned. And uh, I did a lot of work that it's not visible, because we're talking about maybe 25, 30 years of doing this work. Wow. Because I never organized myself into try to make like an institution that could show something for. Sometimes I was working with certain NGOs as a strategist. That was so much fun. Mm. Much better than having to get all dressed up and talk to somebody for awareness. Awareness, to make the awareness part for me, it's boring. Mm. But it's important, I'm sorry. It's important, but it's, it's not as exciting as like being there with the people or coming up with interesting plans and things like that. But for example, I, would try, I started bringing it into my life, I don't know, uh, many years ago, like 14 years ago. I don't know how long ago, Evelyn. But a long, long time ago, when all my girlfriends were getting huge deals for beauty, you know, cosmetics and stuff, Avon came to me. They were all super glamorous. I got Avon. <laughs> <laughs> I said, for the first time, we want to... And I was so excited. I was the first one. No, this is a company that for more than 100 years has been providing women the opportunity to be self-sufficient financially, which is such a... Mm. I also do a lot of microfinancing, I believe, so strongly. In it. Too, it helps yeah. domestic violence, it helps so many things. So anyway, and um, I said, okay, I will do this if you work with me on domestic violence. And they said, no, we do cancer. Oh, no. They did. We do cancer. And that's our cause. And uh, you can come and do cancer. I said, oh, cancer is great. But listen, <laughs> I will give part of what you're offering me. You give part. But most importantly, just let me use your infrastructure. Just let, I will do the work. Let me use your infrastructure. But what are you talking about? I said, your catalogs. The hotline number, there's so much we can do, with very little. It's not going to be a lot of work. I don't know, because it's an image thing, because we do cancer, and, and we want to be known for cancer. So after months of negotiation, um, we said, OK, it's, it's either domestic violence, or we're not going to do it. And then they said, OK, let's do domestic violence. So we started working with domestic violence. I worked with them for 10 years on this. I still work, I'm not, I don't have a contract with them. We still do things together. Because of that, they raised more than $90 million for domestic oh violence. Wow. The, the thing is, you never, sometimes you do more awareness by being aware yourself and living in the presence of this awareness than by talking until you die. Mm. 